Hello, Dulwich Hamlet. It is so lovely to be connecting with you at long last. It feels as though it has been such a long time. It hasn't really. It's only been a few weeks, but nonetheless, everything seems to be going so slow at the moment. I do hope that you are all well, keeping safe helping out around home and just being your usual brilliant, brilliant selves. It's been fantastic to see you connecting on Google Classroom. I'm so proud that we've got this up and running. Your teachers have been amazing. They've had to do so much learning over the past few weeks. Um, we didn't have this before, did we? And it's very exciting, it's very new, and we're learning all the time. Now, I'm sure there's going to be teething problems, there's going to be things, more things that we need to learn as well, but we're going to do it and we're going to work it out all together. So thank you for joining in already. And as I've said in some of my little posts that I've been putting on there, because I am looking, I am seeing, but quite addicted to it, actually. It's lovely just watching all of the classrooms, because I can do that and see what you're saying um, but as I've said it would be great if there are people in your classes that haven't connected yet and you are in touch with them it'd be really lovely if you could just give them a little nudge because we'd really really like to have the entire school community all 360 of you all together um, I'll hand over to Mr. Salomonson in a minute because he's, you know, going to talk through how it's going to work next week in terms of the home learning side of things. Um, but so far this week, it's just been about connecting, hasn't it? Um, I've enjoyed reading your posts. I've enjoyed seeing what you've been up to. Some of the work that you've been posting has just been tremendous. It has been hilarious to see um, year four trying the, the teapot challenge that you were set. I can't do it. I just can't do it. Year five, I honestly, I haven't even attempted the headstand. It, it's not going to happen, I'm afraid. Um, year six, I've done a little bit of the quick drawing, but oh, I'm not that good. Not like your talented teachers. Miss Pink, she's just amazing, isn't she? And year three, how lovely to see your teacher's artwork. They, I think they had a lot of fun doing that. And um, the creativity that you have been showing is just great. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I really hope that we are going to come together again in the not too distant future. It is not the same here. As you can see, I'm in the library. I'm feeling quite lonely, everybody. Usually I'm surrounded by a hubbub of all of you, all of your chatter, all of your excitement, all of your keenness. And we really, we genuinely miss all of that. We're here. Um, every day we have key workers school and there's a, a small group of children that come in every single day because their parents or carers are critical workers so they're coming into school and they're doing the same activities that we've set for you at home as well so it's lovely to have them here and, and it makes it feel a little bit like school but just not the same as having us all together so I'll talk to you again soon but in the meantime, you know, be good. I know, I know you are. Be good. Be helpful around the home. Um, enjoy connecting with each other. Stay safe and keep well, most importantly. So I'm going to hand over to Mr. Salomonson now, and he's going to talk to you just a little bit about how the home learning and all the assignments and things, how that's going to work next week. And I really look forward to seeing how that pans out. Lovely to talk to you all. Mr. Salomonson. Uh, hi everyone. Um, so yeah, what I want to do is run through uh, what's going to happen next week with your assignments. So this is where school proper starts. Yay! Each day you're going to get new assignments in the classwork portion of your screen of your Google Classroom and I will run you through that in a minute. On day one you're going to get um, just English, just one English activity should take between 20 and 30 minutes. On day two, providing everything goes well with that, you'll get English and another subject. So it might be science, it might be history, it might be, it might be geography, all related to our theme of the week. And our theme next week is going to be Our Earth. And then on Wednesday, again, if everything's gone well, on Wednesday you will get English, 
maths and another subject. And that's going to happen every day until school reopens. The assignments are going to go live every day at 8 a.m. Okay, so that you can, if you want to, get on quite early to kind of get the work out of the way. Maths and English are going to be due for submission the following day at midday. So 12 o'clock on the day after you've got the assignment. So you've got over a day to get your work done. So there's lots of flexibility um, that hopefully it'll be, you'll be able to make it work for all families. No matter what computers you've got, you'll be able to get enough time on there to get your work done. And then the other subjects are going to be due a week from the day that they're set. So they'll be due at 12 o'clock, but in a week's time. So you've got a whole week to do, this, to do those subjects. So if maybe you want to spend a weekend kind of really getting stuck into one of the topics, you've got the flexibility to do that. But I suggest you don't let those assignments all build up. So you have to do lots and lots of work on the same day. Try and get them done as soon as you get them. And the final thing is don't forget that you've still got Doodle Maths, Times Table Rockstars, Spellings, um, Handwriting Practice, all of those things to work on because we're, not, we're only setting you new learning and it's important that you keep on practicing those skills that you know really well. Um, if you have any questions, do email in and we'll try and support you through this. Um, and let's have a little look at exactly what you're going to need to do next week when you start getting assignments. Okay, so now I'm logged in as uh, one of our demonstration students, Daisy Saffron, and she's in demo class A. And you'll see now that there is an assignment due for Daisy. I can click on that to take me straight to the assignment. Well, if you go into the class, you can also see it here. These are my upcoming assignments, and you might have a few of those once we get going. You can also see it in the streams here. Mr. Salomonson posted a new assignment, and you can also see it in classwork. So there's lots of ways to get to it. If you read the instructions, it's asking you to read this text and then answer the questions. The text is just here. It's just a PDF that you can read. The answers will open up Google Slides. Now, that's a little bit small, so we want our magnifying glass, or you can go to View, Zoom. And we're going to zoom in until we're happy with the size. There we go. Now, in order to be able to edit this document, your teachers have created text boxes. OK, now the text box is just a space that you can draw that you can type in. So I've created one here. By collect, clicking on text box and dragging my uh, the shape that I want, I get a cursor and I can type. Okay, so if your teacher's forgotten to put in the text box or you accidentally delete it, you can add a new text box in. If you want to delete a text box, you click on the edges until it's uh, circled in, sorry, it's highlighted in blue, and you hit the delete key on your keypad. If you're on an iPad, you'll need to hold it down until you see delete. So often the questions will say tick and there's no tick on your computer keypad. So you're, we're more than happy for you just to use a cross. OK, if you want to get very technical and learn how to do a tick, there is a way. I'll give you a clue. It's in the insert menu here, but you don't need to. So delete the ones you don't want. There we go. One of the beautiful things about Google Classroom and G Drive and all of the Google online documents is that you don't have to save. Up here, we've got the name of your uh, document. It's, it's, got, it's got Daisy's name in there already and the teacher's given it a name. So you don't even have to rename the document. It's all, all done for you. You just need to go through and you need to type your answers where it asks you to. OK, let's look at this question here. Oh, draw a line. So I'm going to go up here. Here's a line and I'm going to connect it up with lines like that. I have no idea 
what the answers to these questions are. Okay, now you've finished all of your questions. What do you need to do? Well, you can just close this this screen down. You don't need to worry about saving. Okay. When you go into view ass assignment, you're just going to first of all decide is there anything else you want to hand in? Maybe you take a picture of some research that you did. Maybe you actually did th this work on paper. You didn't because you had an iPad or something like that or a phone and you you couldn't actually answer the questions on the computer so you found it easier to write in your exercise book that's absolutely fine absolutely fine take a photo of your work and then you're just going to add it here okay add the file here and then once you put all of your stuff that you want to hand into your teacher that you want your teacher to see you click the hand in button and it's look it's saying these are the different files that you're going to hand in so for me i did it on google slides so it's just got this google slides document and I click hand in to confirm that. And my teacher now knows that I've handed that work in. If you need to ask your teacher a question that you want one to one, then you could use the private comments section here. And you can make comments here for the rest of the class to see. I'm struggling to see how that would be useful at the moment, but you only use it if it is useful, please. And that is it. Don't forget when you've finished to sign out. I hope the assignments go well for you. I hope you're enjoying all the challenges this week. Thanks for watching to the end of the video and good luck.